Shalom and praise the Lord. Welcome to our morning glory. And uh, thank you for joining us today. This being the last Tuesday of this month, we bless the Lord for uh, this wonderful opportunity that he has given us once again to be here together that we may be able to uh, you know, get to pray together and seek the face of the Lord together. Once again, welcome. And I believe and trust that God will speak to us, God will minister to us, and God will you know, uh, be with us even as we pray this morning and i want you to go before the lord and just uh, begin to thank god for his faithfulness and his love and his goodness in your life i know that god indeed has been faithful god has walked with you and he has granted you favor and mercy go ahead and just uh, acknowledge him and acknowledge his sovereignty and power and declare that indeed he is good and his mercy is yours forever father lord god we thank you and we bless you today thank you lord for your protection for your guidance thank you for allowing us lord god to see this new day and even to come to the lord god of glory the um uh, and Lord, towards the end of this month, we are grateful that God of glory, you've been with us, Father, Lord God of glory, from the time we started this year. And Lord God of glory, we are coming, almost coming to the end of the second uh, quarter of this year. Father, we are grateful. Our hearts are full of gratitude. Thank you, Jesus, for your goodness, your faithfulness, your mercies. Thank you for your provision, your protection. Thank you, Lord, for the doors that you have opened. Thank you for the ways that you have made. And thank you, Lord God, for each and every everything that you're doing. We pray that, Lord, may your will be done here on other cities in heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we commit, Lord, this day unto you as we begin, Lord God, to seek you in prayer together. We ask of you that, Father, Lord God, may you speak to us, minister to us, and, Father, Lord, do what only you can do in our midst, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen and amen and amen we thank the lord because indeed he has been faithful and we i believe that god will uh, is with us and he will always be with us this morning we are going to pray and our focus is god's masses even as we pray this morning our focus will be uh, you know god's masses um and i know that uh there are times that we feel overwhelmed in life. There are times that we feel that the situations uh, around us, you know, have been tough. We feel that, you know, things are not working out. We feel that we need the mercies of God and we need the grace of God. And we will never outgrow our need for the mercy and the grace of God. And I believe that, you know, we need to know... Um, God's mercies and God's grace and God's favor are, are, you know, are made available to us um, through the redemption, through the work of the cross. This was made available to us and it is the sacrifice of the, uh, of the cross of Christ that actually secures um, through the shed blood of Christ Jesus. We were able to secure and you know, to have the access to the mercy of God. And, uh, you know, um, and we need to continually pray and ask God, you know, to grant us his word says that his mercies are new each and every morning. And uh, we are going to pray that God's mercies will be sufficient in our lives. God's grace, God's favor will be upon us. And um, the word of God says, um, for instance, in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 from verse 16, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. And you know, uh, there are times that we have different needs, psychological needs, spiritual needs, you know, physical needs, material needs, and all these things. There are times we feel overwhelmed with the things of, you know, uh, uh, with issues in our lives. And um, <clears throat> once we feel that when we feel like, you know, we are getting overwhelmed, the best thing that we can do is to run towards God, not run away from God, but rather run towards God. And the, the, the writer of Hebrews says this, that, you know, we have the confidence to approach his throne of grace. And um, he says that, let us come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace and help in time of need we need to draw you know um to the throne of grace so that we can be able to obtain this mercy that come from the lord 
her. And this mercy, you know, is offered unto us. God gives this mercy to us graciously. And uh, the previous verse, I can begin from verses 14. The word of God says, Since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who in every respect has been tempted as we are without sin. This high priest that we are talking about, the Lord Jesus Christ, was tempted. He is able to sympathize with our weaknesses because he came to us as a man. He lived here as a man. He faced challenges. He faced, you know, all uh, whatever things that, you know, he faced on his time here on earth. And he was able to overcome. He was tempted in every respect. And you know, uh, he was found to be without sin. And verse 16 tells us that let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive and find grace to help in time of need. We, uh, we, we draw that we may obtain mercy and receive grace and find grace to help in times of need. This morning, I want us to begin by just thanking God for his mercies. In the book of 1 Chronicles 16, 34, the word of God says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. Give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. I want you to go before the Lord and just tell the Lord, I thank you because I know that you are good, and your mercy endure forever. I know that you are good, you are faithful, and your mercy endure forever. Thank him for making his mercies available through the cross of Christ. Uh, even for time, uh, for uh, even for this time and for eternity, he has made his mercies and his grace, you know, uh, sufficient. Go ahead and just thank him. Tell him, God, I am grateful for your mercies. I am grateful that I can boldly, you know, approach the throne of grace, that I may obtain mercy and find grace in time of need. Father, Lord God, this morning. My heart is full of gratitude, knowing God of glory, that indeed you are good and your mercies endure forever. I can testify that, Lord God, you have been good, and even now, God, you are still good, you are still faithful, and your mercies endure forever. Lord God of glory, no one can stand against you, Lord God of glory. You, Lord God, sent your son Jesus to die in the cross so that we can have access to your throne, so that we can have access, Lord God, to your grace and your mercies. And Father, Lord, we are grateful because we know that indeed you are good and your mercies and you are forever. And Lord God, we thank you and we bless your name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we continue thanking God, the word of God says in Exodus 15, 13, uh, Thou in thy mercy, let me read from this simpler version, you in your mercy, Exodus chapter 15 from verses 13, Exodus 15, 13, the word of God says that, um, and this is the song of Moses, Moses said, you have led in your steadfast love the people whom you have redeemed. You have guided them by your strength to your holy abode. The other version says that by your mercy you have led for the people which you have redeemed and you have guided them in your strength unto your holy habitation. Hallelujah. God carried the children of Israel through his steadfast love the people that he redeemed from the land of oppression the same way he has redeemed us and he has saved us. And, uh, you know, he's guiding us from strength to strength and to his holy habitation. Go ahead and just tell the Lord, thank you because uh, for you have redeemed me. Thank you for redeeming me by your mercy. Thank you for redeeming me by your mercy. I do not deserve to be saved by you. I do not deserve, you know, uh, the, the death of Christ on the cross. But by your mercy, you died for me. You sent your son to die for me that I may be redeemed. And just go ahead and express your thanksgiving to God. Father, Lord, we are grateful. We thank you, Lord God, for your mercy. Because by your mercies, you have redeemed us. By your mercies, God of glory, you have set us free from sin. By your mercies, God of glory, you have saved us. And God, you have rescued our lives. And we know that by your mercies, through the same mercies, God of glory, you will lead us to the place of rest and glory. You will 
lead us to your holy habitation in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are grateful indeed because we know that by the same mercies that you have saved us and redeemed us, Lord, you will lead us unto your holy habitation. You will lead us to our place of rest. You will lead us to our place of glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray believing and trusting. Amen and amen and amen. Exodus chapter 20 from verse 6. Exodus 26. The word of God says, I will start from verses 5. You shall not, uh, God says that you shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I am the Lord, your God. I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers on the children to the third and the fourth generation of those who hate me, but showing steadfast love. And the version says, showing steadfast mercies to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. Showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandment. God says that, you know, I am the Lord who visits the iniquity, you know, um, of them that sin, of the fathers, on their children, up to the third and the fourth generation. But to those who love him, those who fear him, he says that he shows his mercy unto a thousand generations, to thousands of them, thousands of those who love him and keep his commandment. Go ahead and uh, pray and trust God based on this scripture. Tell the Lord, you know, your word declares that you show mercy as to the many who love you you show mercy to them that love you and that keep your word up to a thousand generation and you ask him that he may show you mercy all the days of your life as you fear him as you walk in his ways as you trust in him as you live for him ask him that he may show you mercy in the mighty name of jesus oh god of glory your word says that you show mercy, Lord, unto thousands of them that love you and keep your commandments. Oh, God, you declare that God, for those who love you, Lord, those who serve you, those who keep your commandments, you will show them your mercy, Lord God of glory, up to a thousand, Lord God of glory, even generations. Father, Lord God, we pray today, Lord, based on your word, and we ask of you that, God, you may show us mercy to Lord God, you know us. You know where we are in life. You know the decisions we are making. You know the challenges, Lord, that could be facing us. We ask of you, everlasting God, May you show us your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God of glory, as we know that your word is our light, God, and our salvation. We know that your, light, your word is our joy and our delight and our strength. Therefore, we ask you that, Lord, as we hold on to this word, Father, may you cause us to experience your mercies every single day in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen and amen and amen. Ephesians chapter 2 from verses 4. Ephesians 2 from verses 4. The word of God says, But God being rich in mercy because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved. Hallelujah. Uh, the word of God says, God is rich in mercy. And, you know, it is through his great love that he showed us that we were saved. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to go and pray this morning. Call upon this God who is rich in mercy. We'll not get tired praying and asking that this God who is rich in mercy and kindness will cause us to enjoy and to share in the abundance of these mercies today. Ask him today, God, I know you are rich in mercy, you are rich in kindness, and we ask of you that you may cause us to enjoy the abundance, uh, you know, um, and to share in the abundance of your mercy today in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray this over your life, pray this over your family, pray this even over our church that God will cause us to experience, you know, uh, the fullness, the abundance of this mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God, we pray pray today 
believing and trusting that you are a God who is rich in mercy and kindness. And Father Lord, we ask of you today, may you cause us, Lord God, to experience, to enjoy, Lord God, and to share in the abundance of your mercies. Lord, we pray that in our families, God of glory, we shall share in the abundance of your mercies in the mighty name of Jesus. As a charge, God, your mercies, Lord God of glory, will be, Father Lord God, in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus. Cause us to enjoy the fullness of the riches of your mercies and your grace in each and every area of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen and amen and amen. Second Samuel chapter 7 from verses 15. Second Samuel 7 from verses 15. And this is what the word of God says. Second Samuel 7 from verse 15. I will start from verse 14. God says he's making a covenant with David and he tells David, I will be to him a father and he shall be to me a son. When he commits iniquity, I will discipline him with the rod of men, with the stripes of the sons of men. Verse 15, but my steadfast love will not depart from him as I took it from Saul, whom I put away from before you. He says, my steadfast love will not depart from him as I took it from Saul, whom I put away from before you. And your house and your kingdom shall be made sure uh, and um, forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. Verse 15 is our focus. God is saying, but my steadfast love, my mercies will not depart away from him as I took it from Saul, whom I put away before thee. God is promising David that you know you have led, you have served me the rest of your life, but you're not going to be the one building my, uh, a temple for me in as much as you have that desire. But I will cause one of your sons to arise who will take up that vision, who will build a house of, of worship for me, who will build a temple for me. And this son that I am raising, my mercy shall not depart away from him. Hallelujah. In other words, God is promising David and he's telling him that you know what? Your son will be a beneficiary of my mercies. And you know, this is a generational declaration of passing all of God's blessings and favor upon the child of David. And he tells him, my mercy shall not depart away from him. Even, you know, when he messes up, if he calls back to me and if he comes back to me, I will be merciful to me. I will not, you know, destroy him forever, but I will actually be with him. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want us to go and declare. The word of God declares that God said that he was not going to take away the masses of his masses from the son of David. First of all, I want us to go and pray. Believing, because I know that we are the seed of Abraham and Jesus Christ, the son of David, is our savior. We are going to declare as we are joined together, we are co-heirs with Christ and we will enjoy his mercies in fullness, in the, in the fullness that God gives us. But also we are going to pray for our children that God will establish a covenant with us such that they will be and we receive these blessings being the seed of Abraham and the sons uh, of uh, and the seeds of our Lord Jesus Christ was the son of David. Father, Lord God, we declare that we receive this promise of your lending mercies upon our lives. And Father, Lord, we pray, especially for the generations to come. We pray for our children. We pray for our grandchildren. Lord, may your mercies, Lord God, never depart from them. Lord, may your mercies never depart from them. Oh, Father, I pray that you may smack them, Lord God of glory 
glory. Seal them with a mark of favor. Lord God of glory, even though some of them may have missed the way, even though some of them, God of glory, may have gone astray, may your mercies never depart from them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we, Lord God, speak restoration. We speak your favor, your grace, and your mercies. That even if, Lord, some of our sons and daughters have missed the way, Father Lord, they will find their way back home. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we pray. <coughs> And my, by your mercies, Father, you may restore them, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for even our brothers, our sisters, even our parents who may have departed from the way. Oh, Lord God, they have never come to the place where they acknowledged you. Lord, by your mercies, may you remember them. Remember your mercies, God, and restore them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, because you will do this. Because we know that you are a faithful God who is able to do this. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen and amen. Psalm chapter 4 from verses 1. The fourth psalm. Chapter 4 from verses 1. This is what the word of God says. Answer me when I call, O God, my righteousness. You have given me relief when I was in distress. Be gracious to me. And hear my prayer. The King James Version says, Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayers. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. David says, Answer me, O God. Hear me, O God, when I call. The God of my righteousness. You have given me relief when I was in distress. And I know we can all give this testimony that God in one way or the other has given us relief when we were in distress. And we praise the Lord because he keeps doing that. And he goes on to say, have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. I do not know what kind of distress that you could be in today. I do not know what kind of pain or what kind of, you know, um, mountain that you are facing today and you are crying to the Lord you have been wondering why is the Lord or when is this going to end I want us to pray this to prayer together and we ask the Lord by his mercies to deliver us from distress and the pain in the mighty name of Jesus ask him to give you relief from distress in the mighty name of Jesus whichever kind of distress you are in Call upon the Lord and ask for his mercies, that by his mercies he may actually set you free from every kind of distress in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord God of glory, we call upon your name today. Lord, hear us as we call upon you. Answer us, Lord, as we call upon you, our rock and our redeemer. Answer us, oh Father, as we call upon your name. And Father, Lord God, we know that you are the Lord who is able to deliver us from every kind of distress. And this morning we pray that God of glory, you may have mercy on us, God of glory. Lord, by your mercies, deliver us from every kind of distress. Deliver us from every kind of pain. Lord God, by your mercies, in the mighty name of Jesus, we acknowledge that you are the God of our salvation. Lord, we pray. May you set us free, Lord, and God grant us relief from every distress by your mercies in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, those who are facing psychological and mental issues, may you grant them rest this morning from their distress by your mercies. Those who are sick, God of glory, in their bodies, sick emotionally. Lord God, sick spiritually. Lord God, sick in every way, my Father and my Lord. May you set them free from their distress today in Jesus' mighty name. God, we pray that you may hear our prayer. Hear our prayer, Lord. Be gracious to us and hear our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. And amen. Psalms chapter 5 from verse 7. Psalms 5, 7, the word of God says, But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down before uh, toward your temple 
in the fear of the Lord. King James Version says, But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear I will worship towards your holy temple. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to declare that your life will be a testimony and you will join with the many who will be rejoicing. Praise the Lord Jesus. Because of the abundance of God's mercy in your life. Because God by his mercy will begin to change things. God by his mercy will give you peace. God by his mercy will heal you. God by his mercy will set you free. God by his mercy will intervene in your marriage, in your relationship. Go ahead and pray. And I, you know, declare that you will come into the presence of the Lord in the multitude and the abundance of his mercy, just rejoicing because God has heard your prayer today and he has answered you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God of glory, we declare and decree this morning that together with the faithful ones, Lord, who have received your mercy, we will forever come before your presence, Lord God. Lord rejoicing because of the multitude of your masses that you are pouring upon us in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that God, we shall come rejoicing, Lord, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, Lord, and testifying that indeed you have been merciful, that God, you have been merciful and you've healed us, that you've been merciful and you've saved our loved ones, that you've been merciful and you've granted us favor, Lord, and God breakthrough from every distress situation in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we shall come rejoicing, Lord God, because of the multitude and the abundance of your mercies. Lord God, knowing that you have delivered us from trouble, that you have protected us from evil, and that God of glory, you have made a way for us in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we are grateful because we know that Father, Lord God, you have done this and you will continue doing this in our lives. Blessed be your name, mighty Redeemer. Blessed be your name, everlasting God. We bless you and we give you all the glory and the honor. Thank you for the many testimonies that, Lord God, we are receiving because of your masses that are new each and every morning. Blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. And amen. The last verse that we'll read for this morning, Psalms 23 from verse 6, the word of God says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days, uh, shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I want you to go before the Lord and declare, as the word of God declares, that you know, uh, His goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Make this a prayer for your life, that the goodness of the Lord and the mercies of the Lord, you know, will be abundant in your life. They shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Your children will dwell in the house of the Lord. Your great-great-grandchildren will dwell in the presence and the house of the Lord. Go before the Lord this morning and lift up this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God of glory, your word declares that, Father, Lord God, your goodness and your mercies shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in your house forever. This is our desire, God, that each and every one of us, God, will enjoy the abundance of your goodness and your mercy. And Lord God, we shall dwell in your house forever. Lord, our generations, Lord, will dwell in your house. They will live knowing you. They will grow knowing you. They will be dependent on you. They will not be misled, God, in any way. But they will live knowing that indeed, God of glory, you are their God. And Father, Lord God, they are your children in the mighty name of Jesus. So Father, we pray that you may help us, that we will live having this perspective, Lord God of glory. Glory. And having this, Lord God of glory, in our minds that your goodness and your mercies are following us every single day of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray, believing and trusting. Amen and amen and amen. We're coming to the end of our morning glory. And I want to give you an opportunity to just give to the Lord um, 
whatever you have decided in your heart to give this morning. Your tithe, your offering, any other form of giving. And the Lord will bless you. God is faithful. And I believe that he will bless the work of our hands even as we go about you know, our daily duties and that his favor, his goodness, his mercies will be upon us. We give as a result of, you know, acno while acknowledging what God is believing that indeed he is able to do much more than we can be able to think or imagine. The giving details are already in the screen. You can use those details and as you give, may the Lord bless you and may the Lord, you know, grant you favor in all that you do. Let's pray together as we bring this to an end. Father Lord, we are grateful for your mercies and your grace. We are grateful for your favor. We are grateful for your blessings and everything that God you have done in our lives. This morning your people have given. Lord, we speak a blessing over their lives in Jesus' mighty name. Father, may you cause them, Lord God, to prosper in every way. Father, may your mercies and your grace and your favor be sufficient in Jesus' mighty name. As they go out today, Father, Lord God, as they go about their daily, Lord God, duties and responsibilities and work, may your blessings, Lord, be upon them. May your mark of favor be upon them. May your grace be sufficient in their lives in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you and we bless you. It's in the mighty name of Jesus that you do pray, believing and trusting. Amen. And amen. Thank you for joining us this morning for our prayer session. I believe that it's been a blessing. Remember, we come to you every single morning from 5 to 6 a.m. on our YouTube channel and on Praise Radio. Keep it here every single day, every single weekday for our powerful time of prayer. And again, you can join us on Wednesday for our midweek service where we are having great, wonderful teachings that the Lord, you know, um, is speaking to uh, to us through you know those wonderful teachings that we are having and on Sunday of course we meet here for the two services 7 30 a.m for the first service and 9 30 for the second service on Friday we meet with all the young people from uh, 5 30 p.m to 7 p.m here in church may the Lord bless you and keep you and may the, he make his face to shine upon you and grant you peace may he bless your going out and your coming in may he bless your cup and your water now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.